What's up everybody, it's me, Jacob. So I, I haven't made a lot of videos lately, but today I wanted to talk about something that I don't see a lot of engraving uh, channels really discussing a lot, and that is the type of wood you're using. And I don't mean like the, the, the species of wood. I'm, I'll maybe go into depth, like maybe make a top five woods to engrave photos on or something like that, that kind of a video. But this is more of just like a caution video, like what to not buy. And uh, we'll just make it short and sweet, and I'll show you a couple examples of what I mean. But pretty much anything from Lowe's Hardware, Home Depot, the big box retail stores, their wood, uh, their you know plywood, plywood that you would use, their birch, their oak, their maple, that stuff is all just complete freaking garbage. And I'm going to show you a couple reasons why um, in this video. I'm gonna show you like when I'm sanding it, um, how thin the veneer is on those uh, on the plywood from Lowe's compared to maybe to another place I use. They have Baltic birch wood and it has, I'd say probably double if not triple the amount of veneer on it so you can actually sand your work without worrying about ruining something. It frustrated me when I first started laser engraving because I was buying my wood from Lowe's and I didn't really understand that there would be a difference but there is a huge difference and if you're not aware of it you could be wasting your time running projects on shit wood and I don't like to cuss in my videos but I'm telling you right now the wood from Lowe's and Home Depot that's the best way to describe it I'm not saying that to be rude and vulgar it's just that it's that bad if you're using that wood and you're getting a lot of bad results switch it up you may have to find an online source it's hard for me to find um, you know good Baltic birch plywood and other species of wood that that's good quality but once you find a spot you know stick with it and 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 get used to that but um you know there's different sources online you can try some amazon sources a uh, woodpecker i bought some stuff from them it's not bad sometimes it's a little warped and hard to use but um that's better than the the, the crap i get from lowe's so without further ado i'll show you all right so here's the wood i'm just using some 220 grit sandpaper nothing too crazy Try to clean it up, make it look nice. By the end of it, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, and you can start to see it. Oh, bumped my head. <laughs> you can start to see it a little bit right there on the edges. It's starting to turn. There is this like nasty orange layer under this birch veneer. Now, sometimes you'll get a lot of you know where you're cutting you'll get a lot more char around the corner so you may have to hit it a little harder with the sandpaper to try to get those uh those char marks off but you can see it right there and it's so bad it's so bad it'll straight up just like you can actually start seeing it like the translucence when you cut this stuff there's just this really thick layer of suit that comes off. Here's another example. I'm trying to another piece of it. Um, I was just trying to do a shelf for a customer, and right there on the edge, and that'll just be ugly. It's just junk. It's junk. All right, so here is a piece of my nicer quality Baltic birch that I use on pretty much all my projects. I can stand right here on this corner. Look at this. I can stand away. I can really get into that. Clean all that up, make it look good. I want you to check this out. There ain't a dang orange line at all in that. I mean, it's just perfectly smooth and it looks good. There's no black dust. I can run my finger across the sides where I've cut. Nowhere near as much black residue and dust. I mean, that other stuff just... It, it's so cheap and bad. Here's another example. This is a 3D, you know, 2.5 grayscale engraving I tried on this wood. And uh, I really just use this wood mostly as a test because I don't like using my good wood for it. But it doesn't burn bad. Like, it doesn't look awful. But you can see right in there where I sanded too much. See that orange coming through? God, it's stuff so ugly. It messes everything up. Right there, the little grapes popped off. It's just a really hard to manage wood. If you're using Lowe's wood, 
if you're using Home Depot wood, if that's what you primarily use, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. The only thing I would ever like recommend that wood for is if you're just cutting shapes, maybe painting them, gluing stuff together. It's not bad for that, even though it's like cheap and it'll probably warp quicker than a better wood would. Wood would. I highly just don't like the Lowe's and, and the big box brands. And I really wish they would change that. I think it's ridiculous that you can't go there and get a, a higher quality ply board. They only sell crap. That's all they sell. And I find that really unfortunate. But that's just the way it is. 